Aloha, this is Ryan from eBikes Hawaii. Today we are going to tackle a question that we get asked a lot. What is the difference and the benefits of a hub motor versus a mid-drive motor? First we're going to start with the hub motors. One of the biggest key points of getting a hub motor bike is the price point. You can get on a hub motor bike for as little as $1,200 for a folding bike, $1,650 for a full size like the pace here in front of me. One of the reasons that the price point is lower on a hub motor bike is the parts are more universal. They can be put into more wide variety of frames with less customization, making it an ex excellent entry point to get into the electric bike world. Another key benefit of the hub motor system is they generally come with a throttle function pre-installed. One of the benefits of the throttle function is that it allows you to get your bike up to speed without pedaling from a dead stop. It also allows you to ride the bike without changing your gears frequently, allowing for a more carefree riding experience. Next, we're gonna discuss some of the potential downsides of the hub motor systems. One of those being, because of the weight of the actual motor in the wheel, there is a tendency to see more broken spokes over time. Another one is that because there is a motor in the wheel to take it off to repair, a simple flat sometimes can be a little more cumbersome than working with an, a regular bike and it would re require a little more cost if you were to bring it to a shop to get it done. These hub motor bikes also tend to have a higher wattage motor than a mid-drive bike, which puts a larger draw on the battery, which decreases the overall range you can ride per charge. Also having that throttle function puts a bigger load on the battery when you use that. If you use that a lot, you're not gonna be able to get the optimal range you could. The weight and the balance of a hub motor bike is also a concern to some. When you pick up a hub motor bike, you feel that weight a lot in either side where the hub motor is. It can be in the front or the rear, depending on the bike. The sensor system for the pedal assist on a hub motor bike is also cadence only. So it's just based on you moving your pedals. It doesn't sense the pressure you're putting into the pedals or the torque, which makes it feel a little less natural of a riding experience to a regular bicycle than a mid-drive electric bike does. Next up, we are gonna talk about some of the benefits of a mid-drive system. One of the key benefits is that there is less frequent repairs necessary. Another is that when you have to do something as simple as changing a flat, it's exactly like it is on a normal bicycle. You don't have to deal with the motor or anything foreign at all, no wires or anything like that, which makes it a lot less cumbersome to do and a lot less intimidating to do. Another key benefit of the mid-drive system is a more advanced sensor set on the system. You not only get the cadence sensor that you see on the hub motor systems, you also get a torque sensor and a speed sensor, which really ties everything together, providing a more natural riding experience. Another key benefit of the mid-drive systems is a better warranty. You typically see a two-year warranty on the electronics throughout these bikes. It's a great peace of mind knowing that you're going to be able to get support down the road. Additionally, mid-drive bikes tend to get better range for multiple reasons. One being, it's typically a smaller wattage motor, so it's putting less load on the battery. Also is how the gears interact with the motor. They're able to keep the motor in its optimal power band if you're using the gears properly making the motor more efficient. And one of the most important benefits I find is that these companies making the mid-drive motors have excellent diagnostic programs, making it easier to troubleshoot if there happens to be issues down the road, which there seems to not be that many. Another benefit of the mid-drive system is the weight capacity they are able to move. The way they are geared, they handle the heavier loads better, for example, they put them in some cargo bikes that are capable of carrying 400 plus pounds. Next, we'd like to talk a little about the downsides of a mid-drive system. The biggest one is the price point. Typically, you're looking at at least $2,500 to get onto a mid-drive bike with a Bosch or Yamaha or Brose system in it. Another downside to some is that there is no throttle on these bikes. You have to use your gears. You have to ride it like a regular bicycle. This again can be an upside to others. Lastly is the cost of the major components. If anything were to fail like the motor or the battery, it will be a bigger hit financially to get those replaced if it's not under warranty. 
In conclusion, I'd like to go over some of the key points that you might want to consider when making your final decision whether you should get a mid-drive or a hub motor. First being the price point. The mid-drive bikes are considerably more expensive, however they do come with higher end components. Next would have to be your performance needs. What are you going to be using the bike for? Do you need to climb the steepest hill or are you just going to be cruising around on the flats not carrying a heavy load? If you need to climb steep hills or carry heavy loads, getting a mid-drive bike is going to be beneficial. Last would be the long-term support. When you buy a mid-drive bike from a company like Bosch or Yamaha, you know that you're going to be getting support for years down the road, even if the bicycle manufacturer were no longer to be making the bike. You'd be able to get the motor parts, the battery parts, displays, they're all made by the same people. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to check out our channel for more awesome content on electric bikes and alternative transportation. Aloha.